Mr. Ajit Doval visit Russia for BRICS and SA meet. His visit is the first high-level visit from India after PM Modi visited Kyiv in August. Therefore, ahead of his visit to Russia, CNN News 18 first explained to viewers the significance of this visit and it is not just about BRICS NSA meet only, it is much more beyond that. PM Modi during his telephonic conversation with President Putin told him that he would send NSA Doval to come to Russia to brief President Putin specially and personally regarding PM Modi's visit to Kyiv and his talks with President Zelensky. Ajit Doval is in Petersburg, attended BRICS NSA meet. He met President Putin and briefed him about PM Modi's talks with President Zelensky. India has intensified efforts for peace talks. PM Modi is perhaps one world leader who understands viewpoints of both sides very well. He has done his own groundwork by visiting Europe twice in about a month and talking to other world leaders about the conflict. A statement of President Putin should not be avoided here. Putin at a public event said he is in touch with Russia, China and India for Ukraine conflict. Many are looking at this statement of President Putin as if he wants BRICS countries to actively participate in peace talks. China, Brazil already have proposed a peace plan. India doesn't have a peace plan, but India has offered itself to mediate as and when required. So buzz is, since all major players were in Peters, Petersburg for BRICS NSA meet ahead of BRICS Leaders Summit in Kazan under one roof, one can expect the Ukraine issue to be discussed at, at a length. Also, this is happening ahead of Leaders Summit in Kazan. During his meeting with NSA Doval, President Putin also proposed bilateral meeting with PM Modi on 22nd of October on the sidelines of BRICS Leaders Summit. India is neutral and India has offered itself to mediate. India does not want war. India is batting for peace. PM Modi has already proven his seriousness and commitment for the peace talks. India also understands the impact war is causing on the countries from global south and worldwide. Therefore, it is one of the top priority of PM Modi in his third, third term to give efforts to bring peace in Europe. This is also the reason that he did not end giving efforts after visiting Ukraine. He is pushing for peace even after returning from Ukraine by speaking to President Biden and briefing him about his visit. Then he called up President Putin to talk to him about his visit and now sending his NSA to meet President Putin to brief him personally shows India's deep commitment to contribute to, to stop the war and bring peace in Europe.